one thumped it, didn't need it. That one did though. He came back. Gonna catch some fish. Here we go. Let's see if we can get on some good ones. Do as much as we can today. It's pretty windy, but stay tuned guys. See how it goes. What's going on guys, Bastard and El Mafe here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, uh, me and my good buddy Ben are going to head out to a little pond and do some chatterbait fishing, trying to get Ben on some fish. And we are also, at the end of this video, going to also tell you why um, the jackhammer chatterbait kills all other chatterbaits in the cold and honestly most of the other times of the year as well. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Here, fishy, fishy. This one not run right. See the big thing guys about this right now and why I switched this jackhammer right away like this, those original chatterbaits you can't run slow enough when it's this cold. And the jackhammer as soon as it starts falling the blade starts fluttering. That's why you pay uh, 15 or 20 bucks for the chatterbait instead of 5 bucks. Plus this water is pretty stained so I figured that black and blue would show up nice. Create a good silhouette. Chugging this little guy along real nice and slow. There's one. There we go. That's a little fat one. Looky there, broken hand, and we caught another one. The old jackhammer. Decent chunky, about 14, 15 inch probably. Nice. Now let's let this little guy go. Oh, I'm in the water. Man, he slapped the hell out of that thing. You want one of these? What? One of them? I have something like that kind of thing. I was gonna say, I think that might be the trick today. Let me try a couple more with this. No, uh, probably would. Alright. Dude, my reel. Like, as I was reeling, the freaking handle got loose on me when I set the hook, and it was just spinning. I'm like, I'm like, oh no! <laughs> Especially when he first hit, I thought he was a lot bigger because of that. And it just like spun on me backwards. I'm like, ah! Oh, ho, ho. 
You dirty boy. One thumped it. Didn't need it. That one did though. He came back. Yeah. That's a solid one. Off the old jackhammer again. Another solid boy. Ah, let that little chunk go. Get out of, get out of mud. Yeah, there. there he goes. <laughs> ben wants to there. catch I you. Got you. <laughs> There's another one. Another one. Off the chair, right? There we go guys, another little fatty, about a 15 incher, let's let him go. Alright, so now we're at the little portion of this video where I break down um, a little bit of why the jackhammer chatterbait is a better chatterbait than all the others and why it shines the best in the cold compared to all the others. So immediately in the video, one of the big reasons why I said uh, I like the jackhammer in the cold is because this blade starts turning and starts vibrating faster than all the other chatterbaits. Like here's an original chatterbait here and here's the jackhammer. The way the jackhammer's blade is made, it will hinge and hit each side of this jig head as it's going through the water as you can see that's why that paints chewed off there and there because of that blade smacking and that also adds a little bit extra call to the fish in so and a lot of times i've noticed that this shines a lot better than any other chatterbait there's been situations where i've been on the river and i've been throwing the original chatterbait in the same exact color as somebody else was throwing the jackhammer in same color, same weight, same everything, other than one was a jackhammer and one was a uh, original. The jackhammer was catching, the original wasn't. It's because of the action that this has. This also has a better hunting action than most chatterbaits on the market as well. But big thing in the cold, like I said, is that blade starts turning and starts vibrating at such a low speed which really helps in this cold water when you want to be really, really, really slow to trigger a reaction strike. I also got, we'll compare it to the Guggen one here. You see the Guggen's is a completely different design and theirs really just goes like this. It's not that great of a chatterbait. And a lot of these other chatterbaits as you're reeling through the water column will start to rise, especially the Guggen, especially the original. So you gotta reel them at slower speeds. And sometimes if you've got a bad one, which I've picked up bad um, batches of the original chatterbaits already where every time you reel it, don't matter what you do, it just wants to run right to the top. And I haven't picked up a jackhammer that has that yet. So that's one good reason or quite a few good reasons of why you should pay $20 or $15 for the jackhammer chatterbait, depending on where you're at, they're 15, 20 bucks or depending on who you get them from. And uh, either way, that is why you pay that much for this kind of chatterbait instead of five, six, seven, eight bucks for any of the other brands. They just catch 
more fish. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it enough, make sure you hit that share button too. Um, share it to somebody or anybody you know that also could use some help fishing out there or anywhere else. So please help me do that and get my videos out to other people. And either way, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.